Only climax forests protect against forest fires and the consequent production of masses of carbon dioxide and carbon monoxide. Any degeneration makes forests vulnerable to wildfires. Climax forests generally feature carbon-rich soils. The Amazon rainforest is recognized for having extremely deep and carbon-rich soils, the so-called Amazon Dark Earth Soils or ADE. These ADE soils were recently discovered thanks to LIDAR. ADE soils feature ancient Amazon Amerindian artifacts and feces, and sometimes urns, to depths of two meters, often thousands of years old, proving their sustainable agriculture and lifestyle, as well as sustainable high-density populations for thousands of years and this before 1500. Once climax forests are destroyed, it can take up to 1,000 years for a climax forest to become a climax forest again, and this only if many climax tree species and species of seed-dispersing animals, so-called gardeners such as macaw and tapir, have not become extinct in the meantime. Secondary forests can develop much more quickly than climax forests, but unlike climax forests, secondary forests do not protect against forest fires and feature a much lower capacity to solve climate challenges. Man-made, Climax agroforests represent forests that, at least in aspects such as carbon dioxide absorption and forest fire protection, provide the same benefits as climax forests. With the addition of organic materials, they can mature in about 16 years. To develop climax agroforests, degenerated agricultural lands could be used, preferably on the boundaries of tropical forests, serving as protection zones or buffers. What would help or even be necessary for climax agroforests to develop more quickly is the input of organic materials, compost, humus, etc., brought from urban and rural areas after they were sanitized. CDR is carbon dioxide removal, or absorption plus sequestration, which occurs naturally and simultaneously in trees, photosynthesis.